Hey everybody, welcome to another one of my videos. It's a beautiful day outside. I just wanted to get out and enjoy the weather. So here I am. It's very mild. I'm wearing my, able to wear my jean jacket for the first time this spring season. Welcome spring. I've had enough of winter. I'm ready for warmer weather. Welcome spring. Anyways, I just wanted to thought of an interesting thought that I wanted to share with you guys and kind of going along my sense of humor. I was thinking about like like one of their old publications like popped in my head, Millions Now Living Will Never Die, but it's the same thing really applies today. There's so many millions of them that will never see their Jehovah's Witness version of the end or the Jehovah's Witness version of their paradise because you know because because I was just thinking like the Spanish flu didn't do it the world wars didn't do it the nuclear threats didn't do it the <laughs> they've had they've tried so many times with trying to predict a date and then it doesn't happen if there's anything they're good at, it's just making fools of themselves. And nowadays, I thought with, well, with the uh, the COVID pandemic, right, that's lasted two years. I know a lot of JWs probably really thought that, oh yeah, this must be it. Oh, this is definitely it. It surely is it. This is it. And yet again, it's, well, there were hard times. I'm not going to deny that. People went through tough times financially, depression, all the restrictions and rules that came into place, but gradually things have been starting to get better. And one of the key points I just wanted to mention is that it, it was, I think COVID for them was another time just like surely this must be it. But then, yet again, like, COVID, so they shut down all their kingdom halls, really. And I'm sure a lot of JWs thought, okay, now we can't go to kingdom halls or do the preaching work anymore. Oh, like, come on, this is, we, we, this has got to be it. I'm then getting all excited, but now this year, starting April 1st, they're going to be going back to in-person meetings. <laughs> And I know there's a lot that are disappointed and apprehensive and divided of probably not wanting to go back to the meetings in person, just sticking with the Zoom meetings. Okay, so COVID wasn't it, but then in the past few weeks we've had uh, Russia invading Ukraine, which was another thing. I know a lot of JWs had had probably thought in their heads, like, I know I did as a witness, I had a select few countries, like, if anybody's going to be the, end up turning out to be the king of the north, I bet it will be this country. And I'm sure a lot of JWs had probably been thinking Russia was probably one of those countries. So I think this has got, as terrible as the events are that's going on, I'm sure some JWs have thought, okay, Oh wait, Russia, yeah, I knew it. Oh, I knew it, it had to be them. They're the king of the north. So yet again, that false hope and foolishness of, okay, okay, oh no, this is it, this has got to be it. The end is, has finally come, this is it. But, you know, I doubt it, and it's just so laughable. <laughs> you know, they're just, they're stuck in their hamster wheels just running and losing nothing but time, energy, and money, and all their hard work going to the, the cult, to a false organization. It's just all the same crap over all these decades, really. Predict the end, it doesn't happen. The Watchtower has such a tight grip on them, and they've got to... And I think a part of returning to the in-person meetings is to is to just get those chains around them again and pull them back into that cage of, you know, all the mind control and, you 
know, I think of just all the past decades of all those witnesses, like from the 20th century and before that, who were just who really thought they would see the end to come in their lifetimes, but then it didn't happen. So, I think a great point to make is that the JWs, they just, they definitely don't have a message of salvation. They're just liars and false prophets. They only lead you to fear, doom, of wasted life and destruction. So don't waste your time and energy and labor or money on them. Stay away from the Jehovah's Witnesses. That's all for today. Like and subscribe if you like, and I'll see you the next one. Thanks. Bye.